Pari wants President Zuma and Parliament's Ethics Committee to sanction Communications Minister Faith Mutambi. It's observed that Mutambi interfered with some of the decisions of the SABC board as exerting direct or indirect influence in the appointment of Claudia Mutsuneng as COO. Mutambi had previously denied being in breach of the constitution and breaking any law in her supplementary submission to the inquiry. The SABC inquiry set for a marathon meeting deliberating for over 13 hours. While some of the recommendations are still up in the air, others have been finalized. These include that the Memorandum of Incorporation and Related Delegation of Authority Framework be probed. These are the documents used to dismiss board members and appoint acting executive directors by the communications minister. Which could, could include, but is but is not limited to the institution of charges. Committee found the minister to display incompetence in carrying out a responsibility as shareholder and negligent of her responsibilities. If you refer to the ethics committee, the ethics committee is going to evaluate you know, uh, this transgression, vis-a-vis -vis their mandate, the power of the minister, you know, and we have, that's why earlier we're emphasizing the point that the MOI was never submitted. The inquiry also wants the incoming interim board to initiate a forensic investigation into irregularly awarded contracts and staff appointments. The committee notes with concern um, that some uh, internal changes were also effected and that the appointment of the of the current company secretary no evidence exists that the appointment of the company secretary was was done in in terms of the memorandum of incorporation parliamentary oversight over the sabc also came for a lashing the findings look set to recommend actions against various role players the inquiry is due to meet later this morning to consolidate and finalize its report. Ulilani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.